Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Who asked for this? Who asked for a miner? This isn't the Enterprise D! What the heck is this? Well, actually, it's a really good improvement to the game and to the game's economy situation and your research. And I feel like when the Meridian came out, there was a little bit of a, oh, it's a miner. But the truth is we've seen themes with some of these arcs. And we talked about the second part of the next generation arc feeling like a whale arc just because it was so many leaderboards and focused on, you know, getting some of the officers. And you also had the big armada update for late game. Whereas this is something that helps out, especially those players who have been complaining about the big alliances dominating territory capture. And here's what I mean by that. So I'm going to back out of the menu real quick and then go to full screen. What you have right now in territory is that you feel, and a lot of people feel like, you know, you have these massive whale alliances that control all the particles. And, you know, if you're in a smaller alliance, you can't get access to all the particles in the game. Now, my our map is kind of like all over the place with some empty spaces because war. But in general, most people feel like you just can't really progress through the territory research tree because of the lack of particles. <laughs> And that's where this new miner comes in. So the, the Meridian is not just about mining ISO really fast. And while obviously that's its ship ability and it works really well, we'll, we'll kind of go into that just a little bit more towards the end. It's more about how the refinery option for this new ship works. And when I say refinery option, I mean it has its own set of refinery terms. So once you get the ship, you're actually going to see in your territory capture refine menu another option now because i don't have the meridian yet i'm going to put it up on screen and of course we'll have a video playing of you know uh, it coming out of its dock and looking all beautiful mist and everything and you saw that in the intro but if you come down to the end and i'll like picture comes up now you'll see that we have actually a new refine system now the neat thing about this is it's going to scale with you based on the tier of your meridian while also relying a little bit on you know what ops level you are so remember that the meridian has two locks in terms of where you're kind of like level locked where you can't progress any further that's 34 and 39 which considering it's a ship that you get early on, that's really not that big of a deal. I find that that's actually quite fair. I think when you look at how it scales up and how it operates, and I know a lot of people have complained like, well, it has no protected cargo. We'll look at that here in just a second. I think that overall, what you're seeing is it being a pro positive for the average player. This is literally a ship that has returned to the format of you can get it entirely in the battle pass for free. Now, a lot of people have, you know, kind of questioned how do you get it? And just in case you haven't looked, let's take a look at the battle pass. You should have got the first set yesterday. If you completed your battle pass milestone, then you get to battle pass milestone eight. You'll get another set. Then you get to battle pass milestone 14. And then finally at 20, you'll get all 100 shards now of the battle pass will pay out that meridian so you'll have the ship by the end of the month if you pay the 50 dollars now you can have it early or you can wait and get it absolutely for free and then start its grind now a couple of things that come into this is it's not just about the ship so let me show you away missions so in your away missions, you're also going to see these right here. You see the Meridian shipment that I'm currently doing. Now there are varying levels to this, but it's going to pay out this new resource. That new resource is the ISO resin, which you need to complete the new researches that have started to appear in the trees. So not only are we getting more of a uh, you know, better avenue for obtaining particles and we'll start putting some of those on the screen because you know depending on what level you are you know you're, you're getting another set of particles every day and, but if you're a player who didn't have access to this at all then say you could do a three chest pull for the particles at tier three that's giving you 18 of each type at one time and while that's not as much as if you own the territory and could get 100 per pull a day for a small alliance that's trying to get into the territory game and get access to this research, this now doesn't mean that you have to hop alliances. And, you know, it's giving more reason for you to be with your group and focus on the actual buffs of a, you know, a, a individual territory than simply relying on those territories for particle capture, which is my entire strategy. For a long time, that's how I taught out how focus should be when it came to territory and what alliances should look to do. And now you're adding something to change that up just a little bit. And we'll go over the various tiers so that you can see that as well because the tier nine pays out uh, if you do a three pull chest pays out what 36 of each type every time 
which is pretty stinking nice. So you've got the away missions and you've got now the refinery tool helping make the Meridian a multi-use ship in terms of how you can, you know, uh, deploy it in the game. So not only are you getting particles, but you're using it to get research. And we'll show you those research real quick. The territory tree is probably my favorite tree in the game now. If you're level 30 plus, obviously, because of the cost of, you know, really investing into it. You know, here we're charging dilithium and then those ISO resin. We're not having to use a lot of the other materials that we have early on, so it becomes not necessarily free, but just it's it's a lot cheaper for the average player to jump into. And these are all sections of the Meridian that you probably don't see or realize if you haven't gotten the ship yet. So it's very important to keep this in mind that it's not just about mining isogen. It's all the things that is opening up for you as a player to get access to that you may not have been able to do for months ever since Territory came out. You know, I know many players who, like I, I've worked at, you know, joining a couple of alliances to have them all, but I know several players who have not touched at all an entire row of their tree, which means they then can't get to the second and start working on some of these like the weapons and shield enhancements and everything so this is going to help you start working through that tree in a much more expeditious manner and let's actually talk about the ship itself so total cost of operation we talked about that in a brief mention of it yesterday but it's not that expensive to upgrade and that's going to be kind of part of how it's designed in terms of a scaling ship but still not meant to be extremely expensive it takes about little under a million full ISO emulsion to upgrade 815,000. Now this is without any type of upgrades, obviously in terms of, you know, your research efficiency is what I'm trying to say. Then it takes 466 million titanium, 124 million to lithium. And then of course it's a hybrid ship because it's meant to scale into the forties. One of those warp locks is 39. So because of that, You've also got four star that you're eventually going to start putting in. But in terms of four star, it's literally like the least amount of four star I've ever seen in my life for any ship. You know, it only needs 2000 four star uncommon and, you know, uh, 86 epic ore. It's really not a lot. And it's an ore primary ship versus crystal, which are most... Yeah, basically every other miner is crystal focused, especially early in the game. That's very, very annoying. So this helps provide a little change of pace to that. Let's also take a look at how it actually looks cargo wise. Now, this is going to be a big sticking point for a lot of people. I know not a lot of people like it's cargo and protected. However, it's essentially built similar to that. Like this is why I called it that, that merge between, you know, a Devor and Horizon. Simply, or you could even say a North Star and a Horizon, simply based on this. But you got the fast mining speed, so you can get up to a 4,000 or 4.2K bonus with the Isogen Mining Special Ability. So that's going to help you mine extremely quickly. You're, you're looking at this thing at a max level. Depending on how much you watch, it can pull a million ISO in a day. And it's really not outrageous to say. And then you look at the actual cargo capacity, maxing out at 784,000, which goes right along those horizon lines so it actually can be used as a viable base raider i mean it's not incredible but you can use it as that you know once again we go into using terms like tertiary it's not your primary raid or anything but if you've got four or five docks you can throw it on there and you can you know be running distant raids or whatever you want to do or just use it as an iso miner either way then it maxes out with this protected cargo at ten thousand. now air did a great job and you know uh, he provided this yesterday and we'll go through it here now a little bit more in depth but looking at the actual protected cargo amounts yeah, it's not super exciting when you look at it. 30,000 max at tier nine when you've got everything officer wise that you can think of. So it's not really going to be focused on that. It's going to have to be an active mining ship. But when you take a, in in terms of all the bonuses that you're working with here and all the things that you're getting with it, I think it ends up being a balanced play. It reminds me of how we have to treat the Botany Bay. And yeah, the Botany Bay can be annoying, but if we go out and just mine and use our brand new iso miner and we use it in terms of just going out to mine iso for a day or two days and we gather a million eight hundred thousand iso of a particular type and then we can use the refining options to progress through that and just have stockpiles saved up now you can do this once a week you can do it you know once every two weeks whatever you choose to do but it is going to be something that is viable to use as an everyday item that improves your gameplay overall and especially with this background stuff with the research and the territory particles basically you now have access with this ship no matter where you are even if you have no access to territories you now have access to now grind through the entire territories tree albeit slower than if you had the territories but still a great improvement for the average player in the game if you have any questions about the ship please drop them down in the comment section below as always we try to keep these semi i wouldn't say condensed but 
which I keep the information relevant and shortened. Also, I want to give a quick update about the LCAR situation. You know, uh, Fartasia and the group has officially shut down the LCAR's bot. I want to say once again, thank you to all the work they did. The good news is that we were able to pull, and not just myself, obviously, but there's a massive team of a lot of people who are working, and I don't want to just forget anybody, so I'm trying not to mention specific names, but it's the Kelvin Memorial Archive KMA, and everybody has been in there helping, and like I said, I don't want to just shout out names because I don't want to forget everybody, but there's been a, a huge group you know, a uh, scope of themselves, the community manager Aries has stepped in. So we should have a w operating wiki because I know it's one thing that a lot of y'all have been asking for. I'm helping put together a wiki for the, you know, just log in online, go to a website, find the information, hopefully have that soft launched within two weeks. And then an actual new bot is being produced and should be also be out relatively soon. So even though we've lost a fantastic tool, we have more tools coming in that should be really great. Let me know if you're interested and want any more information. I will have that also in my Discord, so reason to join below. Y'all are awesome. Live long and prosper. Stay safe on the Space Cowboys. Remember to hit the like button. Looks like that. Really helps out the channel when you do. And leave a comment if you have any questions because, well, I'm sure you do. Y'all are awesome. See you on the next one. Deuces. That's me. Bye-bye. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah. Woo!